Good afternoon. Happy Family Friday. Welcome to Moments with Mary. On this Family Friendly Friday, again, I want to thank all healthcare workers and frontline workers, persons for taking care of us. They are doing an awesome job. However, we must take care of ourselves. And there's no excuse. We know what to do. But I will say again, mask, social distance, and be respectful of others. Today I will continue with a few pieces from Snippets of Truth. And the first one is, Sixth grade and the grammar jar. Well, we had a well-spoken and caring sixth grade teacher. And so sixth grade was a year of language refinement. Our teacher insisted that this was our last chance to achieve our goal of speaking and writing well a goal she felt like had to be accomplished. One of her teaching tools was a glass quart jar on her medium-sized wooden desk. If you chopped or misused a word, you had to place a penny in the jar. I don't remember what we bought with the money, but we might have replaced her desk and chair. I often think of my sixth grade teacher with gratitude for being persistent and supportive of her students. The next piece is math and life. My math teacher shared many of life, many life lessons during the school year. He had a story to fit every occasion and the same great attitude. He would smile even when he was not having a good day. He was a great teacher of math and just as great, if not better, when he was teaching a life lesson. Math was not my strength, but I could not wait to get to his class to hear what he had to tell us. I sat near a close friend who was a math expert and she helped to make math real for me. Christmas was an event for the math teacher. He would purchase enough oranges for his math students. He was an awesome thinker and a generous person. He cared for his students and wanted them to become lifelong learners and wholesome, well-rounded individuals. And so my high school English teacher, high school English was a requirement to graduate from high school. Then as now, you cannot choose your teachers. Our English teacher, the wife of a preacher, was unique. She was well versed in the language and proud of the fact that she had it mastered. She spoke with style and grace. I can still see her today as she sauntered gracefully into the classroom, dressed in a two-piece suit with high heel shoes, stockings, and well-groomed, perfectly dyed hair without even a touch of gray. Her favorite lesson was diagramming sentences. I never saw a purpose for this assignment but I hope that I absorb my lessons. Somehow, I think, I've taught myself what I know about the language. 
by, <coughs> I'm sorry, by applying what I learned in high school English class. And the next piece is kind of a life learned uh, lesson. Summer was a time to enjoy being with family and friends and to make ice cream. The ice cream was special because we made it with my mama's creative recipe. The ingredients, milk, eggs, sugar, and vanilla flavor were all blended with care and placed in a silver gallon molasses can with a top lid and handle. Then we placed the can in a bucket of ice salt and turned it continuously until the handle with the handle of the canyon. The, proce con the process continued until the mixture was frozen, which would take several hours. We would serve the ice cream with homemade tea cakes and enjoy it with friends and family on the long porch between the main bedrooms and the kitchen. There was always a breeze in this area, which was a pleasant atmosphere for eating the ice cream and tea cakes. My mama didn't have to be concerned about the cleanup. We would pull out the straw broom, sweep the porch, and away we would go back to our chores or out to play. And that's making homemade ice cream. And the next piece is being worried about my sister. As I was the oldest, I had to take care of my younger siblings. So a day that started as usual, something unforeseen happened. Someone noticed a piece of fabric stuck in the outdoor restrooms commode and reported it to the school administration administrators. They call in the fire department to pump the commode of the outside toilet. We thought that a person might have fallen in and those of us with sisters were worried because the incident had occurred in the girls restroom. I was afraid that it was my sister and she was afraid that it was me because we could not find each other. In the end, after the commode was pumped clean, we learned that a person but a piece of ferret had been stuck in the outside bathroom commode. Hi, it was great to know that the administration cared so much and cleaned up the situation quickly. Worried, I was worried about my sister. And this, the next one is Coca-Cola bottle dolls. There was always time to be creative and to play, no matter what time of year it was. Using a small Coca-Cola bottle or another slender soda bottle, we would design the perfect doll with stylish hair, as long or as short as we desired. The hair was made of brown, fine twine and held in place inside the bottle with an appropriate size corn cob. When it was securely in place, we shaped, cut, curled, and style the hair to our satisfaction. Sometimes we would get extra creative and make a skirt or a blouse for the doll from the twine or from oak tree leaves. We played with the dolls until they were broken beyond repair. 
And the next piece is picking peas and cucumbers during the summer. Peas and cucumbers were the fast cash crops in June and July. They grew fast and plentiful, which kept us busy. And the latter was exactly what Daddy wanted. We picked cucumbers for the market on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Daddy would take them to what we call the cucumber vet for processing in the small town of Mount Olive, Mississippi. We would often travel with him to town. In town, he would buy ice cream and sodas for us, and we would combine the two to make an ice cream soda float. If we did not ride with him, he would purchase the items and bring them with him, them with him so that we could make the float at home. That was always such a treat. Mama also pickled and canned cucumbers in a jar for us to eat later during the winter months. Pea picking was a delight. We picked them every day, some to sell and some for our own dinners and suppers. Shelling peas made our fingers turn purple and irritated them so much that they would become tender. The pea shelling activity didn't last long because we knew where there was a few, new day to come and the process would start over again. These chores helped us bond as a family because we worked together to get the job done. Selling peas and cucumbers helped my daddy and mama to have enough cash to purchase necessary items. We did not produce on the farm. I want to thank you for listening and watching. Let me hear from you. If you have something that you would like for me to read or to share, let me know. I want you to continue to mask, bold your eyes, take care of your skin, and read. I love you. I want you to have a happy weekend, and I will see you on Monday. Thank you again, and goodbye.